high. So following the government's announcement on the 16th of March that religious groups should no longer gather together in person, we're strongly advising all the churches in our family of churches to follow that guidance and to find different ways that you might communicate with each other and to care for each other and also different ways that you might join in acts of worship together. We've produced a page on our website, uh, which is at www.swbaptists.org.uk forward slash coronavirus, or you can find it also on our homepage. And on that page, there is advice for you, for ministers, and also some suggestions of how you might choose to meet together for acts of worship virtually or in different ways for those who cannot access the internet. There's also advice on how to look after each other and to look after others in your communities as well. In these unprecedented times, I believe we've got real opportunities to manifest God's kingdom in our neighbourhoods. And so I encourage you as churches to consider together how you might best serve those in your communities. Please also get in contact with other churches in your locality and other churches in your Baptist cluster as well. Make sure that they are okay and that you can share resources as possible. And please keep in contact with us at the association. You can find our email addresses on the website too and also the phone number. Please do give us a call or email if you have any questions, queries or ideas that you'd like to share. I'd just like to finish by reading a verse from scripture that I hope will be an encouragement to us in the challenges that we face in these coming weeks. It's from Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Please join with us in our times online if you're able on Sundays. Keep checking off Facebook, Instagram and Twitter feeds and do take a look at that webpage.